of the Lord. Amen. I'm thankful to be in God's house today. Amen. What a sweet presence of the Holy Ghost we feel. Amen. I'm so thankful for all of you that are here today. God bless you. Amen. To all of our guests, welcome to our family. We're glad you're part of us today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We're so thankful to have brother and sister Phillips with us today. Amen. They're going to be with us. Preaching revival this week, next week. And this is brother Jacob Phillips, mom and dad. And so we're glad they're with us all the way from Alabama. Amen. We want brother Phillips to come. How many is going to help the preacher today? Praise God. Brother Phillips, come take your liberty. God bless you. Thank you for coming to the lighthouse and being with us today. Come on, let's give it unto the Lord. Come on, he's good to us, ain't he? You didn't have to get up this morning, but you did. Come on, he gave me breath. He gave me hope. He gave me life. I, um, okay, I, 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 see, now y'all met Jacob, okay? I'm a little bit different, Jacob. I'm, I'm just as country as mud, okay? I, uh, when I was a kid, we done, uh, I used to train dogs. And we take an old big tomcat, please, please don't take this wrong, okay? We take an old big tomcat and throw him in an old burlap sack and beat him in the bushes and get him real mad. And she wouldn't fight good until you get him really mad. And then we turn that dude loose and turn them dogs loose and buddy, that thing will hook up and just run. He climb up a tree. We pull back the dogs. We call him back down that tree and throw him right back in that sack. This is what the enemy has done to some of you. He's got you mad. You stood in fight. You climb. He charms you back down and stood. Hey, he threw you right back in the sack. I'm telling you, it's time to fight. See, the miraculous ain't cheap. Come on, this gospel ain't cheap. It'll cost you everything. Hallelujah. Excited to be in service with you today. Give honor unto Pastor Smith and Elder Smith. And I, um, let's see what the Holy Ghost is going to do. Man, I feel like a fat baby in an ice cream parlor. I like this. Let's go to the book of Matthew, the seventh chapter. And now uh, we're going to start reading in verse seven. Before we start reading, okay, I, I'm, I'm just a little crazy, okay, I really am. Sis, the Holy Ghost is going to straighten the situation out for you, and you've been butting that wall over and over and over. And I see the bricks of that wall coming down. Sis, it is going to break through in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. It's going to break. The worry and the worry and the frustration and the aggravation and the wringing of your hands is going to stop. Come on. You know why? Because he's going to answer you. Jesus is going to answer. Matthew 7, verse 7. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to, and to him that knocketh it shall be 
open. I want to go to the book of Acts, chapter 12. You know, why are we so astounded when God does something for us that we've been praying for? Acts 12, verse 5. Therefore Peter was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Verse 12. And when they had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. And when Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel came to hearken named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told Peter, told how Peter stood before the gate. And they said unto her, Thou art mad, but she consistently affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, It is his angel. But Peter continued knocking, and when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. Come on, why? Why when we ask the church to pray and we see it happen, we stand in there in amazement? I want to talk to us a little while this morning. The miracle is at the door. The thing you've been praying for, it's at the door. It's knocking. It's waiting. It's time to open this door. It's time to step beyond where we are. Come on, there are drug addicts in this city. There are prostitutes in this city. They are knocking on your door. They are looking for a way out. They are looking for somebody to tell them about Jesus. Give him a hand cup of praise right as you're being seated. Thank you, thank you. When we can begin to consider, as long as we are asking and we are seeking God, we know that something is about to happen. And we know that every time that we come before God, he is going to move for us in a specific way. There are times that God just shows up and he never moves and he never says a word. He just stands there. He is waiting for us to open up the door. He is waiting for us to step beyond our thinking. Somewhere we've got to make up our mind. God, I've wondered in this mountain. I've wandered around this mountain. I've wandered through this valley. I'm ready to see something happen, God. Look, sometimes you got to create the atmosphere for God to come in. I know, hey, I don't know about you, but the, see, see, I drive about 70,000 miles a year, and, and, and so I have a lot of windshield time, and, 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 and there are times when in the cab of that truck, it's me and Jesus and, and my wife, and we're just riding, and we're talking to the Lord, and, and, and all of a sudden, right, right in the midst of chaos, right in the midst of everything going on, God begins to speak. See, there are some here within the sound of my voice. You've been wringing your hands like, like so many. God, I've been knocking. I'm waiting, oh, Lord. I'm asking you, when are you going to do this? This morning about 3, about 3.30, this is what he said. I come to answer prayer. Come on, I come to answer somebody. I come to bring somebody out. I come to deliver somebody. I come to work a miracle right on somebody. I come to set somebody free. Come on, you've been knocking. You've been seeking his will. You've been seeking his mind. Now it's time to open the door. Jesus is there. Come on, we know his voice. It's time to let him in. No matter how many keys that you have to, uh, to your house, no matter what happens, if, if you never take the key and unlock the door, you're never going to enter in. They was praying. They was crying out to God. And the knock came. Oh, it's just Peter. No, no, it's his angel. No, 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 honey, you don't understand. Peter's in prison. I read a scripture in the book of St. John that Peter, that the Lord told Peter, he said, Peter, when you're old, could it be that when he laid down between them two soldiers, uh, Brother Smith, that they, uh, that they begin to mock him? Tomorrow, we're going to cut your head off. 
Tomorrow, you're going to die. Peter says, hey, old boys, tomorrow, I'm not going to be here. The church is praying. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you're saying. The church is praying. God is going to send the angel tonight. I'm not going to be with you fellas in the morning. Some has more confidence in their car keys than they do God. Why do we come to the house of God with a preconceived notion that God is not going to do exactly what he said he would do? Faith begins to reach beyond what, what we cannot see. Faith reaches into the storm and it grabs the anchor. Faith reaches in when everything is going crazy, when everything is upside down and says, hey storm, let me introduce you to my God. Faith says, hey, I'm not going down. Ring if you want to. Wind blown. Hey, you want to feel this boat full of water? Go ahead. I'm still not going to sink. I've got faith. He's going to bring me through. Come on, I'm knocking on this door. Jesus is bringing me out. He's not going to let me die in my dilemma. See, it's easy to play church. Hmm. Cindy, y'all can't be like me, okay? Because sometimes I just stutter, okay? And, and, and if a stutter man, if he tells you something twice, then you need to hear it twice. It's just a known fact. But many in this building have cried, you've waited, you've knocked. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth vertebra coming from the base of your skull coming down the fifth one. He's going to begin to heal in that vertebra, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord. Because that, that's the one. That the doctor says, hey, is going to give you trouble. But I know a God who has created the body. with you in the name of Jesus right now God you go through this vertebra right now in the name of Jesus Christ begin to heal in this backbone deliver and set free in the name of Jesus Christ I thank you Lord see the doctor he don't have the final say whenever the doctor says there is cancer there is no more hope I know a God who breathed the breath of life in me come on God I want to live I want to tell somebody about Jesus we shackle him with our words like never can and impossible. It is words that high achievers use to, uh, to show people that something can be done. When, when the doc says there is no way, Jesus said, stand back a minute. I wanna, hey, hey, I wanna show you something. Says there is family and there's family. And it's swaying just like this. Some are pulling on you. Quit. Quit. Don't you quit, sis. Don't you quit. They are on the verge of coming into the house of God. Come on. He, God is going to answer you. When we think that it'll never happen, it'll never happen. Come on, you gotta keep a mindset that Jesus is gonna work the miracle. He may have to raise me up. He may have to heal my mind. He may have to bring me out of something. But I know God is gonna answer you. We think that it cannot happen. That that's when it's getting ready. 
when you've come to your last resource, when everything is gone, that's when he answers. See, in the South, you remember them old pop-pop John, uh, John Deere tractors, them old two-cylinder tractors? And it got to pulling its hardest just before it sounded like it was ready to quit. It go, no tires would spin. You gonna choke it down. It's pulling its hardest. When you can't see the sun and the storm's raging. Hey God, you gonna bring me? When everybody's going quick, you might as well throw in a towel. The Lord is not coming to your situation. Come on, keep going. God is stepping into the door. Hello, sis. Come on, stand to your feet for me, please. Uh, yes, ma'am. See, 3, 6, 9, 12, 16, 18, about 21 days, there, there's a situation that is about to change. And sis, you watch what the Holy Ghost does. It is coming down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. This load that has been sitting on your shoulders over and over and over. Come on. Sis, come on. I see the Holy Ghost. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. The finances is changing. The job situation changing. Come on, watch him do it. Watch him do it. Let me show you what God does. A man went to his pastor and he, and he said, Pastor, I need a job. And he said, Okay. And so he gave him his handkerchief and he went and fell out for a job and he come back and the pastor said, well, dear, I did, I did you get your job? And he said, no. He said, but there was a manager's position open. He said, apply for it. And he got the managers. What do you need? The greatest need that we have today is for God to touch us and get us out of our stinking thinking and get us to a place that we can walk right with God and talk right with God. Come on. It's, it's human nature to go to the negative always, but it takes a live fish to swim against the stream. Even though there are bears, there are things that are ready to catch the salmon, but it takes the salmon that says, hey, I'm going upstream. I'm not going to be eaten. I'm not dying here. I'm going there. I'm going to see something happen. See, it's about midways of your backbone and the bending of the backbone is going to touch you in the name of Jesus Christ. When you were standing just a, just a little bit ago and coming on down from the lower back, sis, and coming into your hips and legs, he's going to touch your body this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Ha <laughs> ha. God, you put some Holy Ghost grease in her body. In the name of Jesus, I do thank you, Lord. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Come on, pick your legs up. Jesus. Jesus. I'm not going to hurt no more. I'm going to dance and worship because God has healed me. was coming up the road, Brother Smith, and I entered into Cincinnati, and, and, and the Holy Ghost said, I asked the pastor, when is he going to start his daughter work? He said, ask him. He said, look what I did here. Just think what I'll do there. I see about 15 to 20 miles, maybe 25 or 30 from, from the very center of this house, due west. And I see the Holy Ghost, he's going to open up a door. Sir, we need a Bible study. I see you in that part of this city for just, I don't know why you're there. 
but I see God going, hey, the, uh, you, uh, you stop, stop here. There was a man that, that is coming to you. I see you in a coffee shop. And I see a man going, hey, now, hey, sir, we need help. You a pastor, we need help. We need help. It's going to start with five. It's going to start with 10. Come on, it'll go to 20. It'll go to 40. It'll go to 60. It, come on, it'll go to 100. It'll go to 500. Come on, it'll go to 1,000. Come on, folks. God didn't put you here for just one area. He's going to answer, sir, and he's going to bless it. He's going to press it down. He's going to shake it together because there are men in, uh, there's men in this house, sir, that is going to help you in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. I do thank you, Lord. Hello, son. Come on, lift, uh, lift both hands for me, please. Quit running fr from the anointing. Don't run from it no more. Come on, son. Quit running. God has woke you up over and over and over. Come on, son. Hey, look, it ain't time to run. It's time to embrace it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. There is a deep prophetical anointing, son, that is on you. Yes, it comes with a breaking, and yes, it comes with trials. But yes, son, it is very rewarding. Come on, embrace it. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Ha. We okay? Whew. Boy, y'all about to kill a fat man. Jesus Christ. Luke 15 and verse 17, and when he came to himself, he said, how many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough to spare and I perish with hunger? How many days did that daddy go on that front porch and he stood before daylight and he prayed? And he prayed, and he prayed, and God got that boy's attention and said, go home. He didn't wait till he got home. He seen him afar off. Am I seeing a mirage? Am I seeing something that's playing with my eyes? The closer he got, he knew that God had answered a prayer. Hallelujah, God. I do thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hello, sis. Come on, stand to your feet for me, please. Is you married? Is this your husband? How many children you got? One, five, 12, 19, 40? God love me. You don't shoot the messenger. He's going to open your womb. Come on, sis, look at me. There is an over situation in your body. He's going to straighten this out, and he's going to bring this balance back right, and there's going to be birth. Come on, sis, there's going to be Hallelujah, Jesus. He's healing the body. Sis, he's healing your mind. There's been a mind game playing continually. And sis, this mind game, it is going to stop. And there will be a peace of God in your mind. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Daddy prayed and daddy waited patiently. Send little Johnny home, God. I don't care what you've got to do. I don't care if he comes home in a wheelchair. Bring him home. God woke him up and said, go home, boy. And we think that it can't happen. It will happen. Sir, when you, sir, when you completely let go, it'll happen. You're running something through your fingers over and over and over. Well, if I can hold on to this, if mm -mm, God don't bargain. Come on, sir, he don't bargain. I've got to open my hand and say, Lord, here it is in the name of Jesus Christ. 
And if you'll let God share, he'll begin to heal you from, from, from a situation that happened in your childhood. And God will begin to completely cut this situation off and there'll be peace and peace and peace and peace. There are times that things just want to get really upset right, right here. And it pulls you down. And it tries to depress you. But I know a God. In the name of Jesus. Come on, sir. I'm telling you the truth. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Noah was working on the ark. Building. Everybody was laughing at him. Everybody was mocking him. Oh, Noah. You're crazy, man. You're an old man. You are crazy. Fellas, you don't understand. It is going to rain. We don't know what rain is. We have never seen rain. The, uh, the only thing that we know is that you have lost your mind. You are building something. God knocked upon the heart of Noah and said, get up. Here, I, 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 here is that dimension, and it's time to build. See, people are, they're going to mock you for your faith. They're going to laugh at you. But once it started raining, where, where was everybody at then? They were screaming. They were beating on the door. Noah let us in. No, it's over. It's done. Lean up for me just, uh, just a little bit elder. Oh, about right along there. In the name of Je Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. I thank you this morning, O God. The stiffness, sir, that's been in the legs is going to come off the body. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. <laughs> You're going to be able to walk? Get you some walking shoes. The back's not going to hurt? Come on, Hello, y'all man in the blue suit. Come on, dance for him. Come on, dance for her. When we pray, we got to believe it. Come on, we got to get a hold of it. Then it is going to happen. Luke 15, I mean Luke 5 and verse 17, and it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching, there were Pharisees and doctors of the law uh, uh, sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them, but nobody was being healed until... The man on the couch going, fellas, we are right here. Come on, we are right here. We are right here. There's, we can't get in the windows. We can't get in the doors. Can we go on top of the house? I've got to get to him today. Come on, today. I've been waiting on this moment. I've been waiting on him to get close. Hello, sir. Come on. You feel that warmth coming down your backbone, elder? Come on. That is healing virtue. Oh, I've been waiting for Jesus to get close. Oh, I prayed for nights that this day would come. And we can't get in the door. How are we going to get to him? The Bible says not when he saw his faith, when he saw their faith. Oh, Jesus is teaching and mud and stuff's coming down and Jesus is teaching and stuff is happening and and everybody is losing focus from what he's saying, and they're watching this man, and he's coming through the ceiling. The power of the Lord is present to heal them. But because they want to catch him in their words, come on, they want to catch him in his words, and they don't, and they don't, and they don't want nothing from him themselves. See, 
it's a long lane that never changes, but once it changes, it changes for eternity. Sometimes we get up and we have a notion to say, God, I know it's going to work, but when? Sis, you've asked the Lord to, uh, to send the angel. You've asked him to send him to your house. Don't run when he shows up. He's coming. His armor is the color of amber. Come on, sis, I can see him. Come on, sis, look at me. There is an old dagger situation that has been sticking in your heart. And if you'll open your heart and say, Jesus, I want this gone. Come on, he will leave a scar. And the scar is a memento of what didn't kill me. In the name of Jesus, come on, I made it to it. I made it to it. I made it to it. In the midst of laughter, there has been such a brokenness. But God says it's going to put the broken pieces right back together again. And it's coming together with greater joy and greater joy and greater laughter and greater anointing. Come on, in a greater prayer, a deeper intercession, a greater power with God. Have you ever been around somebody who's got the can't help it's because they can't help it? In other words, that's a country boy language like they crazy. Have you ever been around somebody that everything is negative? Hello, sir, you are sitting in front of the sound booth. White shirt, come on, stand your feet for me, please, sir. Coming down through your left hip. It's more in your left hip, sir, than it is your right. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, sir. He's going to touch the hip socket. He's going to push it back up in place. In the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> Come on, sir. Look at me. I see a boy. I don't understand it. Okay, now don't. Sir, I don't have to understand it, but I see a boy. May not be any kin to you whatsoever, but there's a close relationship with that boy, sir. The Holy Ghost has got a hook in his jaw. He can't run no more. Come on, sir. He's coming back to the house of God. You watch him come back. Come on, you watch him come back. You watch him come back dancing. You watch him come back shouting. You watch him come back speaking in a heavenly language. There has been a spirit, sir, that's been speaking in your ear. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He is not too far that God cannot reach him. Keep praying. Come on, keep praying. Keep praying. My, my, my. Man, there's a, there is a strong current of faith. Come on, you can feel the current of faith. Mm. Hallelujah, God. I thank you, Jesus. John 11 and verse 3, Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. Jesus tarried. Verse 6, When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two more days still in the same place where he was. And we think that God is late. There are some things that he works for our greater good. There are some things that happen that God needs to allow to happen so we'll keep knocking on this door and so we'll be able to step into that place when Jesus opens the door. Hello, sis in the blue jean vest. Come on, stand on your feet for me, please. Yes, ma'am, you are, are you on a second row? Come on, I'm not crazy, okay? Am I crazy, brother? Okay, all right. 
Come on, you heard the pastor. He said, no, sir. You don't say nothing. Coming from one side of your stomach all the way across to the other, sis. He's healing all the way across. In the name of Jesus Christ, coming down through your liver, in the filtering system of your blood. Come on, I see the Holy Ghost is touching the body and healing the blood. The life of the flesh is in the blood. I see a young lady you, you prayed for over and over and over. Keep praying, girl, she's coming. Come on, she's coming. Come on, she's coming. Oh, come on, please don't sit down now. Jesus. I see two financial situations. He's going to work out both. He's going to turn this around. He's coming to joy and joy and joy and joy and joy. In the name of Je Jesus Christ. Come on, sis, look at me. Oh, let's see, three, six, oh, about 12 days ago, 12, 13, maybe 14 days, there was something that showed up in your bedroom, and, and this figure stood there, and there was a fear uh, of that trying to grip you. I'm going to tell you what this is, sis. It's a spirit of fear, and it's trying to make you stop, and it's trying to tell you that it's over. It's not over. It's not over. I know a God that heals cancer. I know a God that, hey, he heals sugar diabetes. He melts cancer like iron is melted in the furnace. Say it, I'm healed. Say it, I'm healed. Tell your body, I am healed. See, liminal concept is a space between where you are and where you're going. That's what liminal concept is. It comes from the Latin word liminum, meaning threshold. You're at one threshold, ready to step across unto another. The Bible says in Judges 20, that there was a woman that held on to the threshold of the door until the breaking of day and died. The world had, had their way with her. She was ready to come in, but she couldn't break through that transition. Once you break through that transition, it's called a hallway of hell until the next door opens. But a transition is where the transformation begins to take place. They prayed. He sent the angel. He let him out of prison. And now he's knocking. And they said, it can't be so. It can't be so. Jesus said, hold it. Yes, it can be so. I've been praying. Mm. See the book of, Jer of Jeremiah, sir, and he's going to open this up for you and he's going to blow your mind in the name of Jesus Christ. I see you studying and crying, running the book of Jeremiah. God, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. In the name of Je Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. <laughs> Not many days hence, sir, there will be, there will, God will delay your time from coming home. Come on, look at me, sir. He will delay your time, and you're going to see the traffic jam. God, why? God, I'm late coming home. I'm going to be late for church, Lord. Why, God? Why? 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 And when you calculate the time from the time you leave here until you get to the center of the wreck, if you would have left right at the very moment, sir, sir, you would have been in the very center of that wreck. And God is sparing the time. Hallelujah, Jesus. I do thank you, Lord.
Sir, the enemy has tried to derail you not, not once, but thrice. He's trying to take you out. You know why? Because you're making a greater influence, sir, than really what you imagine. That is why he fights you so hard in your mind. You're not doing anything. You're not, hey, hey, you old backslidden dirty dog. I'm doing something for God. Come on, I'm reading the Bible. When you start reading the word of God, you start doing something for God. why there's been the low self-esteem and this has tried to press you down and it's tried to hold you. God, you loosen that man's mind today in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind the power of God to his mind. I bind the word of God. I bind the voice of God in his mind right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Sure, I, sure, I see a house situation. Come on, sir, look at me. Come on, stand on your feet for me, please, sir. The fireplace is in the very center of the living room. Window on this side, window on this side. God, this is what we want. I don't know if you live there now. Come on, hello. Come on, sir, look at me. I see a deed, and it says stamp, and it said it's paid in full. I don't know how he's gonna do it. You've been faithful, you've been faithful, you've been faithful. Come on, you've been faithful, you've been faithful. Now God's being faithful back, back to you. Come on, you gotta keep knocking. Come on, you gotta keep knocking. He's gonna answer you. responds to a need that's how he responds to you he responds to a need how's he gonna do it I don't know I'm not God you don't shoot the mailman that brings the bill do you Can I have just a few more minutes? Hello, sir. Oh, come on, elder, stand to your feet for me, please. There is a freshness of the anointing. I can smell it, sir. Oh, it smells so rich. And the Holy Ghost, I see him draping this over you. And this is what he said. Tell him to speak to his mountain. You have spoke to others, and you spoke to others, and you spoke to others. But I heard the Holy Ghost say, now tell him to speak to this mountain. Hello, Sister Smith. Come on, send your feet for me, please. I see a bass player. You will know him by the way he walks. He's got a very distinct walk. Come on. Hello. Come on. Come on, folks. I, hey, I'm not crazy, okay? He's coming. You're going to have to pray that boy through. 
the dude is phenomenal. He just don't play a bass. He plays everything he puts his hands on. I see you in a music store. I see you playing or just tinkering on that piano. And this dude's going to say, hey, you know how to play this? You know how to play this? You know how to play? Hey, I want to invite you to a Bible study, sir. I want to, hey, I want to, I want to introduce you to a God. See, we have, there are times that we have one way of thinking. And Brother Smith say, Brother Phillips, look at it this way. I may not be seeing the cube the way he's seeing it, but if I allow him to get into my brain and say, look at it this way, God's going to show you something different and turning it this way. Then I've got to look, and if I don't do it, I'm missing something. I'm missing some knowledge here. Sis, you're going to win that boy. You're going to win that boy, sis, and you're going to win his band members. Come on, you're going to win them folks. Let, let him anoint his son. Let him do it. Push it back no more. I know when we when we was at the hunting camp, I rolled in my bed, and the Holy Ghost said, "There uh, there will be a day you're gonna be able to tell him to just let go, to just let go, to just let go. Let him begin to impart into you in the name of Jesus Christ. It's great and it's worth it. Hallelujah, Lord. I do thank you, God. Hello, sir. You you with the turtleneck on? Um, see, I see you looking at some financial situation, sir. It is going to turn and climb straight up. You watch what he does in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. I praise you today. Ha, ha, ha. My land. Come on, I feel so many pull, uh, pulling on my spirit. Sister, you prayed for years and years and years for your children. I see a boy that's talking in a heavenly language, sis, and he's rolling in the yard. God, God. See, see, I'm country, okay? You remember the first time that you tasted banana pudding? Oh, Jesus, and you just couldn't wait to get the next taste? That's the way the Holy Ghost says. Have you ever noticed a baby, when they eat, they just get it all over them. It's just so good. When you get this all over you, I stepped outside one day, my good, my suit on my wife said, you stay away from that truck and don't you raise that hood. Grease has a way of just jumping on you. When we can step beyond the threshold of our traditions, Then we start stepping into the miraculous. When we start stepping beyond what we think. Sure, there are times that he calls you to think, but he called you to walk in obedience. What are you going to do when you're at the gas pump and somebody pulls up and they're crying and they need a word from God and you are there? God is dependent on you to speak a word to them. 
We are apostolic. It's time we be exactly what we are. People is going to ridicule you. They're going to talk about you. You know why? Because they want what you've got. It's a known fact. When people start talking and ridiculing you, they want to control you and they want what you have. The miracle is at the door. He's waiting for you to just open the door. Faith opens the door. Little sis in the white sweater, lift both hands for me, please. The fear is going to stop. Come on, the fear is going to stop. The words of fear that are trying to run you in the ground and control you. There's something that's greater in you, sis, than, than that has ever been greater in this world. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to speak to that fear. Tell it to take a hike. Come on, sis, you are greater than the fear that is coming against you. You are greater than the spirit that is trying to hinder you. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That's why he's trying to shackle you and is telling you in your mind that you're worthless and you're nobody. I'm sorry. You are a child of the king, sis. There's royal blood, girl, flowing through your veins. How long has it been? How long really has it been since it's been you and God and just a good old-fashioned war dance? Come on. How long has it been? It's been a while, ain't it? Come on, it's been a while. It's time you and Jesus just have a good war dance. Come on, it's time to put the adversary right on notice. I'm not going down. Come on, tell him I'm not going down. I'm not going down. I'm not going down. You don't fit in with those around you. And you're trying to fit in. Quit trying to fit in. Uh-uh, I'm sorry. God, let me. That's why he's playing with your mind. And when he's through with you, he's going to throw you in the ditch for dead and he's going to move on to somebody else. Greater, 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 greater. Sis, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. You may have to kick them shoes off. Come on, sis. Come on, girl. Break. Come on, break on through it. Come on, sis. Break on through it in the name of Jesus Christ. I see you stepping into an air, uh, to an airport, Elder. I see you stepping off on some foreign soil. I see you coming through customs, and there is a man with a cup in his hand. He's blind. 
the Holy Ghost is going to say, lay your hand on him. I will open his eyes. I'm going to shake this country. What do you need this morning? What do you need from God? Come on, it's here. Come on, it's here. What do you want him to do? What, what do you want it to grow to? 900? 1,000? 10,000? We limit God by our speech. And we think that it can't happen. Jesus said, how many loaves have you? Five, two fish, bring them here. Sure, in the brown suit, they're gonna quit pulling on you. They're gonna stop. They're gonna stop. <laughs> Hallelujah, God. Give me two minutes, okay? I'm, 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 I'm trying to land this plane. Hello, sir. You with the wide part up top, okay? Lift both hands for me. You sir in the black suit? You, oh, yes, sir. You, are, you, are you the one with the wide part? Praise God. Come on. Come on, sir. Look at me. Across the backbone this way and across the backbone this way. X draws the spot into every center of the back. The bending. The riding, the getting up, the laying down, the constant pressure. I see the pressure coming off the backbone in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Sir, sure, sir, sure, it'll be different when this service is over. In the name of G G Jesus Christ. Somebody come on to the music, please. Somebody come on to the music, please. Come on to the music. I want us all to lift our hands. Lord Jesus, today, God, we are stepping into a greater dimension in this house in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that you begin to carry this church in this city to a greater dimension, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Miracles, signs, wonders. In the name of G Jesus Christ, I do thank you today, oh Lord. God, people being filled with the Holy Ghost at gas pumps. People being filled with the Holy Ghost in stores in Walmart. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. God, you take this house, Lord, right into a greater place in you in the name of Jesus. Ha, marejo sotorra. Some of you here, come on, it's time to find you an altar. Some of us here, we are playing with some things. We are dealing with some things in our mind. And it's time to come to the old-fashioned altar and start clearing your mind and clearing your heart. God, here I am today, God. I've been dealing with this. I need help, oh God. Jesus, Jesus, your miracle standing at the door. He's there. Oh, God. We don't have to figure it out, but we must trust him. It's my job to get it right and trust him. It's my, it's my job to, uh, to repent of my sins and get it right with God and he'll do the rest. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Lord, that you begin to restore joy back to many in this house. God, you bring a restoration of things that has been lost, a 
family that has been backslid. God, you bring that restoration back again. In the name of Je Jesus Christ, I thank you this morning. Lord, and God, you bring back the restoration of finance, oh Lord, right under this church. In the name of Je Jesus Christ, bless your people. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I thank you today. I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I need you so much. Jesus, I need you. God, I cannot go through life without you in the name of Jesus Christ. I need you. I've got to have you, Lord. faith. Come on, let's pray you one for another. Come on, pray, pray, pray.
us clap our hands and give the Lord praise. Thank Him for what He's done in this place today. presence of the Lord's in this place today. Amen. I challenge you. Amen. Keep praying those miracle prayers. Amen. God hears them. Amen. God sending the answers. Amen. Thank you, Brother Phillips. Amen. For the word of the Lord. Amen. Everybody say Tuesday night. Tuesday night we'll be back in revival again. Seven o'clock. Bring somebody with you. Amen. We're believing God to do great things. Praise God. Let's bow our heads, ask the Lord to go with us today. Jesus, I love you so very much. Thank you for the privilege that you've given to us to be in your house again today. Thank you for meeting with us and talking to us. Pray that, Lord, as we leave, you'd go with us. You'd keep your hand upon us. You'd protect us and you'd keep us safe. Bring us back on Tuesday. Help us to bring somebody with us. Give our church a mighty move of the Holy Ghost and a great and gathering of souls. In Jesus' name, everybody said, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. You're dismissed in the fear of the Lord.